Welcome back to Sports Edge. Joining us now is the new head basketball coach at Post University, Taj McWilliams Franklin. Thank you so much for coming in. For those of you who say, my gosh, she looks familiar. Well, she was a star of the Connecticut Sun, among other things. Yes. You're, yes. you're, you're heading out on this new head coach. You've been an assistant. Now you mm -hmm. talk about being a head coach. Well, I, I haven't yet kind of, I'm working my way to being a head coach. It's it's surreal, so it's a little different for me just having my own program. So right now I'm in the I'm so excited stage. It's like we just got married. I'm so happy to be there. I'm happy to see everyone, and I'm learning new things. I don't know if you remember this, but we're going to go back to uh, St. Edwards mm -hmm. in Texas. Mm -hmm. You were drafted mm -hmm. into the ABL, mm -hmm. and you got a call from some reporter in Austin who mm -hmm. said, we want to do a story. That was me, and you and I. <laughs> We're on the court at St. Edwards <laughs> University in Austin, Texas, um, wow. and, and, and your child was there, yes, and, your, yes, and your husband was there, and we were shooting hoops, and, and we did a, wow. a little story back then. But so we, you I don't even remember. I still have that on VHS, again, my age. <laughs> well, I still have that VHS. It's, it's my age, too. <laughs> but so, so, so go back to that when you were drafted into the ABL. We're mm -hmm. going back a good... 18, Gosh, 19 yes. years at this point, and then just kind of the road to here. Well, it was, for me, a, a, an exciting time because when I played, there wasn't any professional leagues in the U.S., so I had been overseas for a couple of years, and I can't say I loved it. I, I liked it. It was okay, but back then, no one, we were getting enough money where we would be working every day, so I think I made $1,000 a month in Germany my first year, so a great salary for a, a new new college grad, I, I think, in that era. Um, but for us, you know, I was just wondering what, what I had in store for me. I was kind of thinking about not playing basketball anymore, just getting a job that I, uh, a career, build a career that I wanted. So when the ABL came around, I was a little skeptical. I was just searching for what basketball had or what life had. I was pretty young. I'd been a young mother, and I didn't Which really know. Which took you away from basketball, right? Yes. And it was St. Edwards that got you back yes. into the game. Yep, they definitely did. I, uh, I'd put up my second daughter for adoption and St. Edwards came in a time when I was basically giving up on basketball. I didn't, I'd only played for three years. I played three years in high school and one half a year in college and I didn't really have what I have now. I didn't have a role model. I didn't have anyone to talk to and say, what do you think I should do? I basically learned about it just through going through it. And, and at the time I didn't know if I, I guess we all look back and say if we knew now yeah, what we sure. knew, what we knew then what we know now, we've yeah. done things differently, but I wouldn't have changed a thing because it led me to where I am now. That opportunity, just the hope that I had, I had inside of me that basketball would become something greater than it had been for me because it had been a bunch of disappointment. When I, when I was pregnant in high school, a lot of the coaches that had recruited me at that time, having kids in high school was never, yeah. ever accept it so they were just like oh, you're not worth it anymore and I'd given up but that opportunity gave me hope and a future and and it gave me um, some st stability and a voice uh, about who I was and who I wanted to be and how I was going to handle things from then on um, and that's how I, I plan to coach the young ladies that I'm with I want them to experience them themselves but also if you need a little advice I've kind of been through every situation possible so you could probably walk in my office I can help you out with just <laughs> just a little bit not not a lot but just enough to get you through on the other side and not have to go through everything that I went through Watch out, because our cameras are going to be there at, up at, at a post to, so. to cover you and the success we know you'll have. Thank you so much Thank for coming so in. Much. I want to leave you with the Sports Edge Cup. Yes. I know how much you've been covening this. You, you, it's, it's your... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Taj McWilliams Franklin, thank you for coming in. Thank you thank for you. tuning in. Head over to News 8 at 11. It's going to start any minute over, any minute over on News 8. Thanks.